All right, welcome everybody to Italian Republic Day in the city of Brockton. Wait for these guys to get back here. Uh, unfortunately, the mayor couldn't be here today. He was called away on a uh, slight family emergency. Things are good, but uh, I am more than happy to fill in for him, not only as his chief of staff, but uh, as an Italian-American in the community here of Brockton. Uh, the last name, Giaquinto, is either the most Italian last name you've heard, or you have absolutely no idea what nationality it is. But for those who don't know, it's Italian. Um, and uh, I believe I'm one of three members of our staff who can claim uh, Italian heritage or, dis or descendants of Italy. I'd like to point out Paul Umano in the crowd. Can't fool anyone over there. And I think Corin Cappiello from our office is Italian, so. Um, anyway, I have had the distinct pleasure of uh, living in Italy for a summer. It was uh, memorable. I spent uh, Three, actually, more than the summer, it was three months I spent in a little town called Buncovento, right next to Milan in northern Italy. Uh, it was one of the best experiences of my life. I really enjoyed it, but I can tell you, having a, a couple Italian-Americans as part of the staff, uh, they perhaps look a little bit more Italian than me, but I can tell you I eat more macaroni than they do on a daily basis. But, Paul, that's up for, that's up for grabs. <laughs> Okay, but um, with that, I'd like to start the program. Uh, I'd like to invite Silver Fox, Mr. George Cataldo, up to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, George. All right, thank you, Silver Fox. Uh, I'd like to invite Miss uh, Jackie Bonarigo up to deliver our invocation. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to recite the uh, prayer of St. Francis. Um, just a little information. Um, St. Francis was born in Assisi, <coughs> excuse me, Assisi in Italy in 1182. Uh, after a very carefree youth, he, he turned his back on inherited wealth and committed himself to God. Like many early saints, he lived a very simple life of poverty, and in so doing, gained a reputation of being a friend of animals. He established the rule of St. Francis, which exists today as the Order of St. Francis, or the Franciscans. He died in 1226 at only 44 years of age. This prayer is said at every meeting of the Order of Sons and now called Daughters of Italy. So this is the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. <clears throat> Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. I'd like to point out and recognize some of the elected officials that are here today. We have uh, Ward 3, Dean of the Council, Dennis Ioneri. 
State Senator Michael Brady, Ward 6, member of the City Council, Jack Lally. I think that was it. Uh, I'd like to call up next uh, President of the Christopher Co Columbus Lodge 216, uh, Mr. Todd Petty. Thank you very much. Let me put this up a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Everyone whose name that ends in a vowel, raise your hand. Happy Republic Day in, in Italy. And everyone else at IAMO at the end of your name and your Italian for the day. <laughs> now, I, I, I was, it was great to hear that, uh, that Ward 6 City Council, Jack Lally. Jack, how much Italian do you have in you? About a quarter. It's 25% Italian. I met his grandparents the other night. Great people. Jack, welcome to the Italian family. And I know Senator Michael Brady. Mike, you never turned away a bowl of spaghetti that's put in front of you, right? Hey, you're, a, you're a good man. You know, will all the members of the Christopher Columbus Lodge number 216 stand, be recognized? Nunzio, you're here. Jackie Bonarigo, you're here. There's Pasquale, there's Linda over there. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to be here. This is a very important day in, uh, in Italy. You know, on April 20, on April 28th, 1945, Ciso, I think this is accurate. On April 28th, 1945, Benito Mussolini was executed, bringing to an end the reign of terror that Mussolini held over Italy for years and years. And that paved the way for June of 1946. For on June 2nd, 1946, Italians voted to eliminate the monarchy and to have a republic. And today's day is known as Festa Repubblica in Italia, Italian Republic Day. And the Italians have meant so much to the world. They've meant so much to the city of Brockton. As a matter of fact, Nick and George, I point out every year, right behind us, the viaducts that carry the trains through the city from Boston down to Middleborough every day that they come through Brockton. Brockton, Massachusetts is the only community in the United States of America where the trains and the streets do not intersect. When you're going through Brockton, you're either under the train track or you're over the train track. So we like to say, if you find yourself in the unfortunate position, Michael, of looking at a train coming right at you, it's because you put yourself in that position. <laughs> but that was, that was due largely in part to the great engineering at the time when those viaducts were constructed. Now, Italians came over, the Masons particularly, Sisto, the Masons came over and they worked on the viaducts. It was almost as though, well, not almost as though, it was little tent communities working down south working from starting up there where the viaducts began all the way down through Campello. And, uh, and at that time, the Italians back home, they're making probably a dollar a week. And they came here to the United States, particularly in Brockton, to work on the viaducts. They're making five, six times that in salary. So the city of Brockton has a lot to be thankful for, the, um, for because of the Italians and what they've meant to the city. So having said that, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here today. We thank you very much. Professor Italia, molto grazie. Ciao. Thank you, Todd. Uh, now I'd like to issue a proclamation declaring the city of Brockton uh, today as uh, Italian Republic Day. On June 2nd, 1946, in a national referendum, the people of Italy voted to abolish the monarchy in favor of adopting a republic form of government, which led to the formation of the Republic of Italy. And whereas this day is now annually celebrated as a day of national pride throughout Italy as Italian Republic Day. And whereas the Italian culture has made a positive impact on our society since the dawn of Western civilization, making great contributions in the fields of art, science, humanities, ports and politics. And whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of the traditions, religion, 
and cuisine of the Italian culture, which were brought to us by the many Italian immigrants who made their way to our country, our city, and placed an indelible mark on the city of champions. And whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Italian heritage and extend to them our best wishes for continued success and prosperity. And now, therefore, be it resolved that Mayor Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim June 3rd, 2019, as Italian Republic Day in the city of Brockton. Uh, this just about concludes our program, but if you'll join us over by the flag, uh, we will raise the Italian flag uh, to, uh, in recognition of Italian Republic Day here in the city. Abby, pull that one. There you go, honey. Good job. Okay, let's go. That's good. One, two, three. Thank you so much.